Hey guys, welcome back. With SageMaker Pipelines, we're going to put a drug multi-class classifier into production with XGBoost Multi-Classifier. Let's get started. As you can see, this is going to need to be encoded, and I'll show you guys how to make the data set. Right there. Your five classes of drugs, and however you can encode them and use the new data set to cross-reference if you guys were doing predictions and actually do it um putting it into production after approval okay this just shows you how to get it approved for production however you would need to deploy and predict okay there we go um read the data set import these necessary libraries after you unzipped it Label encoder, fill in A, and place equals true in case there's any nuns. Read the CSV. And here's one more thing. You see the model registry? It's 95% accurate. Model quality, 95% accurate. There we go. And there's our little diagram. You see, model approved. Okay. Get your pipeline session, and let's go down to uh, marker where we're going to create our two Python files from this notebook. After you imported the data set doing here. Okay. Get your execution role, region name, make your default bucket, and pipeline session. Name it whatever you want for your... Read the file path to the data set we just created. And um, upload to the S3 bucket so we can train it. Pass these parameters right here in training instance types. Make the directory and now our preprocessing file. Here we go. PD drug for target and then drop drug in everything else. Okay. Read it in your base directory and then to CSV to create the data set because we split it with the NumPy split function. Okay, here we go. The base job name, name it whatever you want. Pass those parameters and then your code, marker pre, dot preprocessing, the Python file we created. Step process, name it whatever you want. Okay, SK learn preprocessor. Pass these parameters as shown for the output. If you guys don't do this as shown, you guys won't even pass the first step, the preprocessing step. Now we're getting to the second step which is the training. Okay, the model path, your parameters. Here's where I'm going to show you, since this is multi-categorical, num class 5, num round 5, multi soft max, I would do a max depth of 4 since the data set is so small. We don't want it to overfit. If it were big data, the problem would be underfitting, and we would definitely need to be a, do a hyperparameter tuning job. And we'd begin to warehouse data warehousing and all this other stuff. Anyways, train the hyperparameters. Okay. I mean, uh, show your hyperparameters. My bad. It's been a long day. Okay. This is to show that it passed them so it doesn't fail in the training. Okay. Training step. Name it whatever you want. Your evaluation PY. We're going to do a little cross validation with the F1 score, but pass the micro macro parameter because it's multi-class. Okay, and then pass these classification metrics and then values your F1 score. If you guys are going to do standard deviation, 
add the line up here and then pass equals to whatever you wanted to name it for its standard deviation put it right here and then put that down here you see your standard deviation the met would okay and then your classification report dictionary okay your script preprocessor run it and your code evaluation py the thing you created drug evaluation or name it whatever else you want your model the s3 artifacts name it whatever you want for this step registration of model and classification metrics the file path from up below you guys see right up here classification metrics accuracy value okay name it whatever you want for the conditioning step and then import the pipeline read it i mean uh your definition so you can read it in json okay execution equals pipeline start the notebook from the beginning describe it if you want list the steps you guys see the steps succeeded 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 and then you guys can delete it if you want okay you guys already saw the diagram where it got approved i do want to warn you these things are not exactly cheap to run let alone after approved put in a python code to deploy it and predict however however that would cost even more money Eventually, I'm going to get to that step, you guys. Next time, we're just going to do a simple convolutional neural network. And then after that, I'm going to take a break. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to upgrade this account to a GPU instance. We're going to do object detection algorithm and uh, image classifier with SageMaker. We might do a BERT model. Later on down the line, before we even get to Google Cloud, that's further down the line, we're going to um, we're gonna do an NLP pipeline. I think BERT most likely. Or Blazing Text Classifier pipeline. Not just a model. Okay, guys. Stay tuned. And uh, I hope you guys learned from this video. Thank you.